Paul gives us his secret to knowing and winning Christ. Look at chapter 3 again, Philippians, verse 7 and 8. But what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for Christ, yet doubtless I count all things but lost for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I've suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung that I may win Christ. And he's not talking about boats and ships and food and houses and lands. He's not talking about that loss. No, 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 no. He said, all these things that are done, all these things that I have given up, it's the striving of the flesh. I'm giving up my Benjamin pride. I'm giving up my Hebrew efforts. I'm giving up all of these things that I've outlined that I did in my flesh. I've, I have given up on the flesh. I have once and for all, for my lifetime, given up any hope of pleasing God in my flesh. I've suffered the loss of that. I've given up on it. And folks, that's the beginning. You cannot know Christ in fullness and intimacy until you once and for all give up this concept that you can dig in and try harder and get the victory of your sin. You can't do it. It's not in you. God will not accept your flesh, even if you can accomplish it. He won't accept it. Because he said the flesh cannot please God. It's enmity toward God. 